Yo, hello there, my delicious friends. I hope you're, of course, doing up bloody well. It's your boy, Mikey Mega Mega, live on twitch.tv forward slash Mikey Mega Mega. Back at it again with another episode of Let's Play the Victorious Game of Elden Ring. Yes, look at my boy. We continue, as mentioned just now, our magic samurai build. Uh, samurai builds automatically come with a bit of vigor, mind, and endurance and strength, but we've actually been just nudging my intelligence and faith uh, and a little bit of dexterity so that I can use really cool magic attacks, recently unleashing the ability to cast Long Range Lightning Bolt, which means I'm actually going to go back to another boss or mini boss a moment ago we were having trouble with to see if I can Lightning Bolt his face in. And most beautifully of all, we have bested Renna, not Rani, the El Renarino. Thou, art thou now assured of thy want to be born anew? So, this lady allows us to change our cosmetics and respec. Be not alarmed, nor afeared. I would birth thee as a sweeting, fair and fine. Oh, thank you very much. Um, she's still kind of creepy. I don't know why I would trust her to do that. I just defeated her in battle. Also, as you can tell, she's playing uh, Death Stranding over there, but we're not here to judge. We, on the other hand, have a whole load of upgrade points that we can now use. We've got Schmeckles. Oh, you just beat the Godskin Duo Cosmic. I don't know who that is, but uh, the fact that it says the word Duo reminds me of Dark Souls 1, where you have to fight um, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern in the golden armor. Any boss that's two or more characters or any mini boss that can heal themselves. No, I don't like it. Uh, so, P Pistols, Naxma Vestra, Gem, Deliconium, Homongchi, RJ Dukar, Jubinoso, Lockhart. Hi guys, thank you for joining me today. How are you all now? Let me just open these chests firstly. It's locked. Okay. Um. Now, when we were fighting a battle, these chandeliers were dropping down and ruining our day. I'm hoping that this is no longer a dangerous area like that. I just want to must be a fremen or in <gasps> Yo. He's studying us. Hey, yo! Welcome on in, raiders. Hilarion. How the devil are you? PP pistols just working and lurking along. You know it. Yeah, yeah. No, thank you very much for having a Mikey tab open. Welcome, welcome, raiders. Yes, yes. Come enjoy your day in the vast library of knowledge for this Mikey Mega Mega. Yes. Mm, I have many books. Mm -hmm. Yo, how you guys doing? Hilarion. How was your stream? Bada Park, hey, hey, yeah. Hi, guys. A duo means twice as much as fun. Only in the bedroom, mate. Uh, it's called a devil's threesome, if you're not careful. Doing good. How are you doing? Not too bad. We've just recently done some adventures here. Uh, I recently hit a milestone on YouTube, and uh, now we're just relaxing. I'm putting off doing some film cram stuff by playing video games. Ah, hello there. Yeah, hi guys, welcome on in. Dude, tell me all about your afternoon. Tell me about your stream, what did you get up to? Now, that chest is locked. Uh, I just want to have a quick look around here as well. They have another kind of pseudo-religious shrine thing. Crucifix, but not crucified. Thus, for lack of wood. Um, and before we talk about upgrading my points, I'm going to crack open any uh, schmeckles that I've got sealed up so that we can ideally max out our upgrade options. Look at this. So lovely to be here. Love having you guys. Welcome on in. Uh, it seems a little quiet, but I killed some people in Call of Duty, so I can't complain. Oh, you're an FPS murderer. I want to get into that. I've still got my Call of Duty game that came with my PS4 bundle. <laughs> it shows you how up-to-date with gaming I am. I got a bundle PS4 with Call of Duty and uh, the other FPS game that's set in World War One, And uh, I still haven't opened either of them. But I'm totally going to get around to playing it soon. Any day now, mate. Any day. Exclamation mark game, so I have to update my spreadsheet. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I find that it's always quieter in the day. I don't have, like, a, a regular vibe, but I don't really have a big UK crowd. It's a lot of Americans that hang out in my stream. So, um, 
Yeah, I find daytimes are quite nice if I actually just want to have a chill stream. Like, one or two of my mods might pop in to say hello. There'll be, like, maybe 20 to 30 people just popping their head in at any one point. And sometimes it's nice if you're, like, super low energy and you just want to play a game and chill out. FPS murder is me modding Skyrim. Jafias, I want to play Skyrim VR. It looks incredible. There's a lot of mods which might crash for a computer, but it looks so good. And uh, I've never given Skyrim a proper playthrough anyway. Like, I've played it for a few hours back on a PS3 six years ago. So, uh, that might be an insanely fun way to do it. Look at this! <clears throat> this is it. We got this Grace Memory. I don't know what to do with this. I can use it. How? Use Remembrance of a Full Moon Queen. I won't do it right now. Um, if I go to the Fingers in Starvold Demolane... No. If I go to the Fingers in a Round Table Hold, that's a completely different universe. Well, I can, I can turn the memories of bosses into weapons, can't I? Or upgrades. So, guys, thank you so much for waiters finally over. We have at our disposal... 52,000 Schmeckles. What shall we bring up to business? Now, as you know, I'm a bit of a faith magician. I could smash faith up to level 22. Or shall I spread it around a bit? Intelligence? Did I miss you, Dom the MILF? Yo, I did it in a daytime stream, mate, uh, a couple days ago. How you doing, dude? Dude, we were just talking about you earlier. I was like, yo, I know someone who's written a book. Do you have a link to your book, dude? Do you want to share it? You don't have to. Elden Ring is Dark Souls 4, basically. Yeah, Dr. Mark, it's... I wouldn't recommend this as a first-time Soulsborne experience. I really like this game. I really, really do. Um, but it's almost a little bit too big. Like, we are still really early on in the game. I've been playing it forever. Definitely Soulsborne PP pistols in Skyrim. Extremely maybe. America! Parabaki. Hey, thanks for the follow, by the way. Uh, Ayatollah as well. Thank you very much for 32 months. How's that working from home life treating you? Oh, Gabby, you just completed the game yesterday. <laughs> Gabby, you delicious egg. Welcome back in. Um, So I'm just going to do more magic stuff, guys. I'm going to up... <gasps> oh, wait, 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 wait. 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 We... Uh, we defeated Godric the Grafted and somebody the Fell ages ago. And I used the memory of him, just like I was talking about with this lady. I used the memory of him to gain a dragon weapon. Which I haven't used yet. Uh, so I want to increase my faith lots to use this scimitar. Grafted dragon. Bear witness. So, in order to use this dragon, I need strength 20. And, in general, I want to keep busting out my faith. Excuse me, burping. Because I've got some incantations um, that are like swinging dragon tails and all sorts of cool stuff. So, uh, yeah, let me uh, nudge up to 20 big boys. Oh, I love the start of a Let's Play episode where I'm just waking up and we're all just working out what we're doing and just getting comfortable. 15 minutes of nothing happening before we play the game. Hey, Paclip, good morning, dude. How you doing? Welcome on into a daytime stream. Now, let's level up for reals. For true. For true. Level 20 strength. Anything else left? No. I need 5,000 runes to get another level up. Oh, God. I'm quite close. I better not die anytime soon. Now! How do I use that dragon head? I'm going to switch out my rapier. Let's have a look. Oh, it's really little! <laughs> where, where is this? I thought it was going to be massive for some reason. All right, how does this work? Okay, no bedroom talk. I know where that's leading. Uh, Two-handed. 
Okay, you can't wield your dragon head two-handed. Oh. Wait, I can't wield it at all. Wait, how do you use a dragon head? I might not have researched this properly. It costs 20 FP. I have 20 FP. Maybe it's just cold. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're looking at it from a distance. School's been really busy, P-Pistols. Hey, well, welcome on in, dude. Oh, this is your fifth day of work in a row this month. Oh! Well, hey, come relax. Faith and Strength was my playthrough. Lots of fun stuff. Yeah, Lockhart. I keep telling this to people, but when we played Dark Souls 1, I, uh, I was a strength build, big sword, big dreams. So I'm trying to do a completely different build to just have a wide experience. How do I, uh... Oh, can I just not use any weapons in here? Oh, maybe this is a safe space. And therefore, this isn't for fighting in. Okay, so this chest is locked. I am done in this room. I assume I can only leave by the way I came in. So, uh, let's do exactly that, right? Lowercase L. Time to leave. No other items to collect from her. Let's get out of here. It's a shield. Wait, my dragon head is a sh One sec. Maybe I can use my weapons now. Oh, here we go. Right. Mm. I'm not going to lie. I was expecting flame magic. This is more of a... This is more of a... Ah ha ha ha! It's more of a kung fu weapon, do you know what I mean? Hand to hand combat. Okay. Let's test it out. It's a fist weapon. Mm. Careful what websites you go on. Use your weapon arts. Oh! Yeah, I can't two-hand it. Uh, by the way, guys, we're going to go to the round table hold. Um, does anybody know, in this game, where is a good place to find smithing stones? Because I just don't have much of that action at all. Now, we are going to go, guys, back to the hallway with the other dude. Let me just hit this guy with this fist. I want to see what happens. Oh, oh, they catch fire! Yo, it causes burning damage! Yo, okay, that is relatively good. There is fire. After all! Yeah. Come back. You can trust me. It's minor, but it is there. Mmm, so this is what we unlocked from, uh... Uh... God trick for grafted. It was either that or to use his great axe, the double headed axe, but I knew it probably had really high strength needs, which I wasn't going to meet. Yo, yeah, thanks for the follow, Dracodon. Welcome on in. Mike is doing art with weapons. Yes. You should read Tough But Fragile by, by Shindo L. Isn't Shindo L the person who made the comic about the schoolgirl whose life goes rapidly downhill? and suffers abuse by everybody she meets. I'm kind of aiming for a feel-good summer. Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure how much I'm down. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for your patience. Uh, where were we earlier? The library, Queen Renala, schoolhouse classroom, Shinchitsu, and the Church of the Cuckoo. Mm, I can't remember which one was which, but I think it might be the Church of the Cuckoo, where I was having a bit of trouble killing a guy, but I've got lightning magic now, because I'm even better than before. <clears throat> oh, they're in the mines. Yo, Lockhart, thank you. We will go back down south. Uh, I've missed a Patreon question. One sec. Uh, please continue singing. <laughs> I sing my way to getting cancelled, Gem. Uh, sorry, I'm just scrolling up. 
dragging it along my enemy's face. Hey, well done. Um, okay, if anybody's... Oh, does Patreon stuff come out tomorrow? Paperclip, hey, yeah. Patreon stuff, Paperclip, comes out on the 5th. Uh, so, you know, technically it's like, bang, the moment the month starts. But I actually give myself a window of breathing room because I'm often playing catch-up. The 5th, mate. It might be a day or two late because I'm still working on something. But yeah, 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 soon. <clears throat> but if you, ever, if you ever don't like the fact that I'm behind... Just message me. Ask me for a refund on Patreon. It's no judgment. It's totally cool. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I'm actually going to put this away because I don't need it right now. I'm very glad I have it and I'm very glad I can use it. However, let me just make sure I'm still medium rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all good. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then what did I do before? I did still use Glinty. So let me just quickly unlearn Black Flame. I still like a little bit of Glinty on my sword. It gives me a bit of edge. You guys are so patient. And then we're going to jump in a cave or two, I think, and get myself some stones. Mm -hmm. Oh, healing. I don't really need that anymore. I'm not in a boss fight. Yo, let's get up this one. I'll still have Glint Blade, because you never know. Uh, Fire Swirl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Bish Bash Bosh. Majigger till it's bigger, run it in and start some slashing. it when you don't stagger them properly. Oh, if you don't stagger them, you're fucked. Excuse me. Anyway. Let me know, by the way, if you can guys can hear me clearly or if I'm a little bit too loud compared to the game or vice versa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please die whenever you're in the mood. Please die when you're ready. Okay, I'll give myself some breathing room. I think uh, now's a great time to flex my new magic by... Oh, I thought it was a dude over there. Oh, they've all run over here. They've confused themselves. There we go. Get that book out of my face. No more book beatings. That's the old Mikey. Last couple episodes, they were smashing knowledge firsthand without consent. But now. Lightning magic. Main mage. Mikey Mega Mega. Hmm. I'm on Chi, thank you. Kuya, hey Kuya, how are you doing? Lovely to see you. Kuya, you were streaming the other night. You were getting a, a load of work done. I hope it was very uh, successful and productive. Always lovely to see you. <clears throat> Kuya, this is a really random question. You do not have to answer this question. But because you're like a, a no cam, no microphone streamer, um, I realise I have actually assumed your gender. I call you dude or bloke or guy. Um, and if that's wrong, let me know. <laughs> but like, otherwise, yeah, no worries. Okay, so lightning magic. This is the new future. It's really long range. All right, it's not that long range. Oh, for fuck's sakes. All right, one minute. Ah, don't. I have to keep an eye out because that, that crossbow is still a bugger. Okay, starting now. Yep, yep, yep. One more. One for love. <gasps> How did that kill me in one go? How did that kill me at once? 
Now you can see that we're very close. You can see that we've basically beaten them. So don't worry about that. Dude is fine. Oh yeah, no, no, go have a meeting. Look after your life. Okay. Let's try that again. Shuck. Stop, stop wiggling that. Get your... Anyway. <laughs> it's bedroom. It's stuff I hear in a bedroom. Stop wiggling that. Do something productive. Oh, it was a headshot. Is that why it downed me? You can charge it. Oh! I'm not sure if I killed them. Oh! <gasps> Oh, now all of a sudden it didn't take off. That's the same move I've done on that dude every single time. Apparently not enough now, huh? This game's unforgiving. Nobody's ever satisfied. Four perfume bolts in rapid succession. You've got to dodge. Perfume? Is that what they are? Mm. Okay, I'm going to charge it next time. Oh, are you playing Bloodborne? Oh, I just watched some footage of Bloodborne the other day in uh, uh, Ms. Mika's stream. And, uh... <laughs> just my luck. The boss was a giant spider that kept summoning other smaller spiders. And I was just like, yeah, I'm not up for this yet. <laughs> One day I'll play Bloodborne, but not today. Okay. <clears throat> Once more into the fray, dear friends. Oh, how convenient. Oh, 1300. I'm almost there for my level up. Okay, run in. I'm still going to dive roll away. Do you know what? I'm almost tempted, guys, to put my magic item in my right hand so that I can use a shield. Like... Hold up the shield, fire some magic. That might be a smarter way to do it. RJ, how's life, by the way? You still uh, being creative? I believe, I believe, I believe. The second I see him hold that crossbow, I get ready. Not really a big deal. Not really a big deal. Glorious. But um, he'd actually been quite difficult. Finally. Taking care of business. Come on, do it for mummy. Now. What sweet item was worth all of that time and effort? We're near the water wheel that took me up to the higher level earlier. Oh, it's very crystalline at this end. Very glinty. Hey, are you a monster? Azure's Glintstone Staff. Oh. Oh no, I've just wasted some smithing stones upgrading my other staff. Did I want this one all along? Talk to me. Initiative 52. <clears throat> it's got really good sorcery scaling. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to smash out my initiative. Initiative, faith, dexterity is what we've been doing anyway. But, uh, okay. We've got something, some kind of big boy weapon for later. Okay, it's only a billion levels away. You're a big deal, Mikey. Oh. One thing I hate about this game is that it reads your controller inputs. Like, uh, your heal button. But when you do that, the enemies intentionally become aggressive. Yeah, Niren. They know... Yeah. Yeah, they... The enemy... You, so you're right. The enemies don't read your actions. The enemies read your inputs. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. It's all part of the magic, isn't it? Yeah, but it's so hazy around here. Everything's got this kind of... Muted grey glow. 
Well, guys, um, we've done really well. Uh, have I done this academy now? Like, I've... Have I completed Rhea Lucaria? Or am I missing something? Is there still another place we're supposed to go? Because I, I feel like I'm a big boy. Have we, uh... Have we done everything? Let's go back downstairs, shall we? The staff is good, but it's like a preference thing. Yo, well, I'll explore it in about a million years when I'm a high enough level. Oh, Gabby, bless your heart. I've got a lantern. Thank you. It didn't occur to me to use it, though. Now, a couple random things, guys. Number one. Over here, I need to have some kind of item to put onto an altar. Because we went into the study hall, but I could only climb up so high. So I don't know what's going on there. Obviously, I can continue up this path. Um... We found a dragon somewhere over here, which we could try fighting. There's dragons over here, which we could try fighting. And also, we will go back into the cave and also the underground world uh, relatively soon to do all that side stuff. Um, but I might just drop into a cave sooner than later. Here's a little red stain. There's an old crone. Is that a cave? Question mark? Need to be doing a certain ending of the game to get the item. Tutor Rebo! Father! The Lugger has awakened! By the hand of God. Yeah, hey, dear man. No Foss, I was wondering if you were suggesting a special order to watch your art tutorials on the channel. Hey, No Foss. Um. Uh. You might want to do the overall. Um. Body. Uh, ones. Here's a figure from start to finish. This is vaguely how long the arms and how long the e legs are based on different head heights. And then you can just start to fill it in willy-nilly, whatever your preferences or whatever your weak points are. But no, it's not like a it's not like a set tutorial. It's just a whole load of topics I like to talk about. Um I will do a kind of slightly more guided step-by-step -step thing one day as a practice run for making something relatively complete for Patreon. But it's still a bit vague, Andy, at the moment. Oh, fuck. Uh, so, yeah, guys, just to repeat my question. Am I done? Or do I need to go anywhere else inside this academy? Hey, Rex. Hey, there, man. Let chaos take the world. No! By the power vested in me, I will not succumb to chaos. Oh, you reckon Elden Ring is more forgiving than normal Soulsborne games? Because of the summons and stuff. I find that really helps. I think that's a great... By the way, I think that's a genius way to do it. Like, because loads of Soulsborne hardcore players are just like, No, I don't want the help. I want to defeat the enemy on my own. That's the Soulsborne way. But loads of players who maybe need a little bit of help, like, you know, you can't give them an easy mode. That's not the essence of a game like this. So giving them summons, I think, is a really, really good way to make everybody happy. I can hear these crows like rats. <clears throat> Did you find the second glintstone key? No, Kureji, I found one of them. Yeah, an imb oh imbued sword key. Okay, I've got both of the academy glintstone keys. So, where where would one go? You beat the queen, so you can move on. Okay, I've got both glinties, and I beat the queen. Uh, where's my uh? Sorry, I never learnt my buttons. Okay, so lowercase l, time to leave.
<clears throat> By the way, I hope you're all having a lovely day. Thank you very much for joining me for a gentle bit of afternooning. I'm back over at Lakey. So this way takes me further on. I'll have a quick sit down. I've got 1,400 schmeckles. I just need to kill a couple things and we can do another level up. Yes, but not yet. Okay, let's have a little look onward. You can give it to the mage waiting in the church right behind Stormvale Castle. Oh, yo! From ages ago! Is it, this is Castle Stormvale, right? Uh, the chamber, the ramparts, the tower bridge, the cliffside. Somewhere down here, yeah? Hmm. Well, you could head north to Waifu Rani. Oh, we've got options. Let me do the mage then, if that's something. I've never even been here. Oh, wait, guys, 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 guys. We never did the... There was a portal. <laughs> guys, 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 guys. There was a portal. We never did the portal. One sec. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a monkey dude from earlier. Good to see you, Master. Do you uh, remember me? The Bok, the demi-human. Yeah, man. You helped me before and retrieved my sewing needle. Please, Master, allow me to serve you as your seamster. I can't make nothing from scratch, but I'm happy to make adjustments to your garments. Yo. Yo. Wait, is he gonna... Wait. Can he upgrade? The Land of Reed's armor. Yo, so he can make this heavier, but it slightly nudges up all of my stats and resistance. That's pretty cool. Ha does, does that cost money, or is he going to do that for free? Yeah, it's my boy, Bok. Bok is a good little guy. Yeah, he's good, isn't he? Uh, my advice is to believe in yourself. Chocobo, kid. Aww. Yo, thank you very much, Bok. Can you do it again? Oh, no. Master, I was wondering, do you ever make adjustments to your garb yourself? I would, well, rather Rude. you let me do the job when possible, please. I don't ask anything in return, you know, and, well, I am your personal seamster after all. Do you know what? There's so much gatekeeping in the cosplay community like him. Anyway. Oh, going so soon? Uh, please do be safe on your journeys. Oh, yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I do appreciate you. Uh, okay, guys. So, let me go back in. Let me quickly go to where that teleport thing was. And then, uh, bish bash bosh. We'll get some smithing stones. Bosh bash bish. Go to the church. Do the a wish. I'm Amelia, welcome on in. I believe. I believe in a thing called love. Just listen to the rhythm of this fart. Um, I don't actually know where it was. It was near where we came out. The debate chamber. <clears throat> it slightly changes the visuals. Oh! Oh, there's more grass at the top round my shoulders. Have my armor plates slightly scaled up? I've got these these white tassels. I think these white tassels are new as well. And my skirt just underneath the armor now has this orange pattern. Hey, okay, that's really cool. Wing Zero, how the devil are you doing? It's lovely to have you back. For a little bit more of that goodness. Sweet, sweet child of light. Uh, was this the right way? Yeah, 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 it was this, wasn't it? Oh, also, should I just kill a few crabs? I just need to... 
I just need about 15, 1600 HP. And, uh... I'm going to see if I can get lure out that... It's, it's like a bad robot. Iron Maiden, Miss Behaden. There it is. Aiden Christensen. Yeah. Lock onto him. Get out my powerful magic. Here. Ooh, it's disgusting. Yo, look at that stagger. Look at that stagger. That's for power of faith, man. Gotta have faith. Ah, ah. You could be somebody and not just anybody. Playing Elden Ring too. Ooh, ooh. Feeling like I've got this magic motion. Throwing lightning bolts all day. Hey, hey. If you like this kind of nice commotion. Building up my samurai, faithing all the way. Oh, you gotta have faith. <laughs> it costs money when you do it yourself, but Bok does it for free. I like Bok. It's nice to have a friend in a game. I know that sounds really sad, but like, it is nice to just make a friend in a game like this, which is mostly about horrible, disgusting bosses. Yo, so we never checked out this vibe. Even the sheep are mean. Yeah, those rolling goats. Oh, that reminds me. I need to get a dragon head. Oh. We're far beyond where we've been before. Okay, well, this is cool enough. Cooler shaker. What we got? Oh, it's another turtle prince. You're tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? Hmm, talk to me. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. Oh, the shattering, the fragments of the ring, at right? The Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between Red Haired Radigan and Renala of the Full Moon. Oh, Renala so was Radigan's mistress or wife. The monuments of both houses. The Earth Tree of the Capital and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Two seats of great power unified. Oh, fantastic. Dude, you got a dentist appointment tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, if it's something nasty, I hope you get it removed. And if it's something with a hole in it, I hope you get it filled. Teeth pain is the worst pain. It's it's a different league. Mmm. Turtle Pope, let's go. That's a good Pope, sir. Okay, I won't kill him. I like him. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. Hey, thank you. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction. In which case, I will share all that I know. I don't mind a little bit of... Oh, yo! Study, study! Do I have any scrolls to give him? Oh, I can give him... Oh, let's give him the Academy scroll, seeing as I've just uh, murked the Academy. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. Oh, nothing is true. Everything is permitted. I'll hold off the Conspectus one. Let's see what he's got. Incantations for my nations. Blessings boon. Grants a blessing to the self 
and nearby allies. Gradually restoring HP. Oh, it's HP up buff. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. Uh, you can get a cream for that now, for delayed activation. Yo, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Sorcery! Swift glintstone shard. Great glintstone shard. A larger projectile. Ladies. Carrion greatsword. Already got that. Magic glint blade. A sigil that forms a projectile after a delay. Okay, guys, we're going to buy some of these. I know I was, I know I was saving my schmeckles for a level up, uh, but honestly, whilst we're here, never fear. Um, delayed glinty sounds really interesting. A uh, great shard. Let's give it a go. Um, I don't know about this incantation though. Uh, slowly HP up. Ch -ch -ch -ch. I might as well. Actually, no, let's get him to read my other thing. Let's give him the other scroll. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy <clears throat> is not native <clears throat> to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. Mm. Oh, so now he knows Star Shower. Wait, don't I have Star Shower? Fire six shooting stars that pursues foes. Ah, <gasps> Star Shower is what Rena was using against me in her final form. I previously had Glint, glint Blade Rain or something. It was a bit, a bit weak, balls. Yeah, let's go. Now let's let's learn about this boy. Is there something else? Yeah, yeah. How's life? You wish to know more of Lord Radigan. Lord Radigan was a great champion. Possessed of flowing red locks. He Thank you, Jim. These lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. She won him over, However, huh? When Godfrey, <clears throat> first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Earth Tree capital. Becoming Queen Marika's second husband, oh. and King Consort, oh. taking the title of Second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. Oh, there's more to this mystery. So. So Godfrey was the first Elden Lord, and Radigan became the second Elden Lord after dumping Renalia and marrying into the royal household. Okay, tell me about Renalia. You wish to know more of Lady Renala. She is queen, head of the Carian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her. Mm. And then, when the Academy rebelled against the royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. Mm. Civil War. Yo. It's fascinating. I love that stuff. You don't need absolution. Sing for absolution. I will keep singing. I haven't listened to Muse in a million years. Oh, a golden sewing needle. Oh, should we give that to Bok? Oh, that, yo, that sounds like Bok stuff. Yo, let's jump straight back to where we were. And then we'll jump right back here again. I'm just going to have a really quick look around the immediate. I was kind of hoping there was going to be some kind of tear. Or something that I could use for my flasks. There's usually something around here.
Any more for any more? Teeth pain is the worst. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I've been through all sorts of pain. One of my favourite pains. As in one of my top ten life experience pains. Was, uh, like, imagine a park bench. You know, so it's wooden slats for the back of the bench. And then wooden slats for the seat of the bench. I was having a play fight with a friend of mine. We just, you know, this is when you go around your friend's house and you'd f watch martial arts movies. And then you'd fight for fun. And we were in a park having a fight. And I, gr I was standing on the bench and I grabbed onto the back. And I pushed up and did a handstand to kind of kick really weirdly at my mate. And then what I intended to do was tuck my legs in as I came back round out of a handstand and land back on the bench. What instead happened is as I pivoted round, I didn't tuck my legs in quick enough. And I, I did like a 180 degree body weight pivot off my hands off the back of a bench. And my legs, so the, the edge of the seat of the bench is here and my feet came in just underneath it. So I smashed both my shins at 100 miles an hour on this. But of course, the floor is down here. So I smashed my shins and then I scraped them all the way down, all the way up to my knee as my body weight then just then landed my feet on the floor. <laughs> and I cut both of the front of my shins wide open, bleeding everywhere. And mate, the pain. So this bench was at the top of a hill because it overlooked the park. I... With, without making a single noise of pure agony, I just writhed, and I just writhed and tumbled slowly down the hill. I was just, just in so much pain. <laughs> anyway, even that, even that pain, because that was uh, quite a long day for me, was nothing compared to the time my impacted wisdom teeth got really, really bad and started pushing against the nerve. I will take bench day over wisdom day any day okay long story short well done we've had a quick look around let's teleport back let's give that sewing kit i i assume that's what i'm gonna do that sewing kit might be an item that i use but there's only one way to find out also let's equip that magic Mm -hmm. This old man, he has won. Knickknack, paddywhack. That's a gun. So, delayed glinty. And, yeah, here we go. <clears throat> so, I had magic downpour. This. Star shower? Hmm. Do do do. Da da da. Da, 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 da. Yeah, big F. Big F. Oh no, yeah, Gem had already worked it out. Yeah, I told her. I hope you're having a good day. We did the corridor, dude. Smashed him. Oh, that's what absolution is. If I fight an NPC and make them perma aggro, I can undo that by getting absolved. That's a good mechanic to have in this game. Okay, that's good to know, dude. Uh, is this for a right one? Uh, I might have... Wait, did I... Did I teleport and then meet the dude? Or did I meet the dude then teleport? Jem'Hadari. The Jem'Hadar. That's... DS9 talk, isn't it? Bok the Seamster, at your service, Master. Amen. Ready to make adjustments no. to your garments. Okay, right, so that sewing kit isn't an item that I give oh. him. Going so okay, that's fine. Uh, so... Very cool, way to go! Hi. GX Draw, welcome back, dude. Hey, thank you very much. Oh, I, I still haven't opened my uh, energy drink. I'm just enjoying my tea. Chameleoness, how are you doing? 
Why are all your boyhood stories so scary to listen to? <laughs> Mate, I'm covered in scars. Like, I'm a very scarred guy. Not as much as a sword fighter. But, you know. I'm not the most physically photogenic guy. Do you know what I mean? It's because I live on the edge. I'm from the streets. Hmm. That is disgusting. Awesome moods. Hey, how is life treating you, dude? Welcome back in. How's dost thou art do? Thou art fine, good sir, and full of great rejoice, for thou hast cool. defeated much evil. Oh, Chocobo Kid, hey, thank you very much for dropping your gift, though. Landing on Mirzi Art. Aww. Yo, Gifto's a very handsome Chocobo Kid. Thank you, thank you. Yo. Uh, I'm chilling right now, nice. Hey, put your feet up. Come relax. Let's go. What was the game plan? So I still don't have whatever item I need for here. Guys, I have the two glintstone keys. Does anybody know where I use them? I got both the glinty keys. What does one do with said access? Uh, what else did I want to do? God, I feel like there was something else really important that we just talked about. I've done all this. I still can't get to there. I can explore up here. Oh, they're for side quests. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, oh, no. Yeah. Give them to the dude in the church, right? Give them to the dude in the church. Where is that church? I keep forgetting. It's somewhere vaguely here. Uh, let's go rampy. Now, back when we were making our way through this particular castle, I did find all the enemies quite tough. So we're going to hope for the best. But I think I did a running... I had like a good jump, didn't I? Oh, it's gotten a bit dark. Weather's turned. No, 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 no! Oh, yeah! By the way, there's a, there's an entire subterranean area underneath the church, underneath the castle, that we never explored. Thank you. Right at the church behind Stormvale Castle. Oh, it's just outside. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, <laughs> ignore that. I was just double... I was just reminding myself that there was an interesting subterranean area. How does one get down there? <gasps> oh, do you know what? I heard there's a... Hello. I heard there's a trick. Who's this? Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hayata. Wait. And I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next. But when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. <laughs> Yeah, I've had grapes like that when I was clubbing. Um, I thought this was the lady who died in the southern island. Mikey versus gravity. No, 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 we got this. We got this. How are you? Have a grape. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. You are most kind indeed. Mm. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Stop saying that. Oh, I got a new, uh, a new uh, movement. Thank you. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the... Uh, okay, this church. Let's go. So, um, apparently, in this game, I don't know if it's been updated, apparently you can get down there from Stormvale Castle and you have to have an enemy. You have to stagger an enemy on a rampart 
and you need to be the one who's by the edge and you need to do a takedown stab so that it pulls you off the edge but the animation stops you from taking damage when you fall apparently so we'll see what's going on The Church of Idith. Is this the correct church? You mean Adina? That is someone else. Yeah, Kureji. I've only... I, I, but I thought like... Oh, here we go. I thought it was the same model. Hello, sir. Back to learn another. Wonderful. You're most welcome to any of my anemic little spells. Hmm. You're good, man. They're not anemic. Uh, oh... Uh, Starlight. Oh, that's quite nice. We might come back for that. However... Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meagre sorceries are no match for your generosity. Oh, right. I can tell you what I know about this place. That should help a bit. Mm. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. Not to me, I'm afraid. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering. The Academy cast repelling seals on the east gate leading to the capital. And the south gate leading here. This is all old I news to us, isn't it? The seals are still active. N another well checked her. to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm <clears> stuck <throat> here. A fledgling sorcerer with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. Oh, he used to be one of them. Yeah, I hate it when foreigners come over to Great Britain and start speaking Welsh. Excuse me, speak English. Thank you very much. This is GB. What are you going to do about it? About Selen. Doesn't he... W oh, the glintstone key. Here we go. Why not find yourself a glintstone key without one? You can't pass through the academy, and you'll never reach the Erdtree capital. Don't be like that. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps, once you've tied up all your loose ends, and I can be very patient, would you consider donating it to me? We like vowels. I know it. I'm a bluntstone. Nary a hint of talent for sorcery. But still, my place is at the academy. I like that they've got their own terminology for people who aren't sharp at magic. Blunt stones. Are you certain you're willing to give your glintstone key to me? My, oh my. Thank you. Thank you dearly. I'm very magnanimous. I can go back to the academy to resume my study of glintstone sorceries. And the very stars. Okay, don't get your hopes up, mate. I've kind of killed everybody who works there. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look, I'm really glad for you that you're excited to go back to school. Spoiler alert, I've murdered all of the children. <laughs> I killed all of them. Erudition, finally. Back Mate, there's so another. many body languages. Course. You've taken an apprenticeship with Selen. I have. Well, that is something. Selen was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history of the Academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. Aren't the Welsh for people who make grape juice? The academy, accused of what the hell are you talking about? Sorcerers, <laughs> Gabby! <laughs> under the name of the Graven Witch. I still don't believe the accusations. Good. The illustri- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Selen's great. She might have done some cheeky, uh, illegal stuff on the side. Forbidden arts. But we like her. Now! That's gone very well. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'm going to go for a really, really quick wee, and then we're going to work out where we're going to go next. I'll be right back. Okay, great. So, what did we say we were going to do before I went to the toilet? We've done this. I don't know how to get here yet. Unless there's an underground route um, that's part of that sub-cellar area of Castle Stormvale. Finger Reader Crone. I guess we've logged her. Hmm. Now, we can go further into the Red Wastes, and I think this is another one of those tunnel places that takes us down to the underside. 
So, let before we go up here and continue our adventure, let's go down here and go back into one of the caves. Just get ourselves a little bit of smithing stones if possible. Is that a cave? I, th I think that might be a cave. Let's go over here. Let's take a quick look. I'm starting a position as an art director, thanks to my RE fan art. Yo, guys in chat. Go follow Queer JP. Hey, that's fucking awesome. Good for you. Good for you. <clears throat> Suture, you shouldn't have any adverts. Suture, can you hear me right now? By the way, Suture, I'm not I'm not angry at you, but I'm I'm this is what I'm trying to keep an eye on. Suture, you shouldn't have had an advert for the last 30 seconds. Surely, otherwise it means my shit is lying to me. Anyway. Like that advert should have been running whilst I was having a break. Toilet break. Wait, why am I here? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, this way. And then along and down and left. Ooh. Oh. Very cool. Wait it's go. a little bit steeper than I Mikey, thought. Um, hey. Yo, Grass Walker! For the 33 months, you handsome, relentless egg. Grass Walker, I thank you so much. Such a lovely boy! Welcome. Now, I've tried jumping off here before and it didn't go well. Grass Walker, thank you so much. Oh, is there a merchant over here? I haven't bought any um, cookbooks and stuff for quite a while. Oh! This is some real village of the dam stuff. They're frozen in their reverie. Is this ecstasy or agony? But they're locked in it. Some fateful zombified... Forever cast in the dream of another tomorrow? What is this? So creepy. Oh, I should have used my magic on them. We should have had a little test run. Now. <laughs> magic glinty. Let's give it a go. Actually, let's do this, dude. Oh. Two hundred and eighty damage on a slowly materializing sword. Let's see if I hold it, if it gets any more powerful. Three hundred plus damage. Hmm. Oh, Dracodem, you're doing new game plus. Uh, hey. Uh, that's fucking awesome. I don't know if I'm gonna have the time to do that, but I really want to. I'm really enjoying this so far. Wait, why am I here? I'm trying to go downstairs. I'm still too high up. But I think I can. It's this bit of cliff. I've got to kind of go in here and then go over here, which is fine. So we're going to go down here. And then we're going to kind of veer left, go down, turn right. Yeah, question mark? Oh. Wait, how do I, how do I get over here? All right. Uh oh, so now I want to go this way. I'm a little bit turned around. Do I different? Am I going there? Yeah, yeah. Uh. No, I'm still really guys. I'm so sorry. I'm just really high up. I'm just gonna go here, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go down this valley. I think that's gonna be easier. Wait, is that underground? Where's that cave? Oh, maybe that cave leads to some mines. I.e. smithying stones. Oh, was this where the ants were? I'm, I can't remember anything to save my life. Uh, 
Oh, we fought a boss in here. Yeah, I don't want to be here. I'm probably never going to get to New Game Plus. I'm way too preoccupied farming for armor and drops. It's perfectly understandable. I think that's why I'm trying to do so much exploring. <clears throat> this game is so big. Like, so with uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, I played just for main game. Because the chances are one day there's going to be a third game. And I'll replay the entire trilogy. And then I'll do New Game Plus and explore everything. So I kind of, in the back of my head, know that that's likely. Whereas with this, it's such an insanely big game. I think I'm better off just exploring as much as possible. Ah! That's single playthrough! Fucking hell! I was looking at my controller plug! I'm sorry. I just looked up and there was just this giant wench swinging a fucking... Uh, anyway. I forget about this area. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Anyway, yeah, so that's why we're exploring. Ooh, I don't even know what that was. I just heard a noise. Oh, it's monkeys. Oh. Sorry about that. There's a spirit well I can jump into. Oh, okay. Let's look for that. I've got the triple bladed version. Wait, what? Well, that's why we want smithying stones to upgrade my sword stuff, yeah? And my magic re. That's what we're doing, right? Um, I've already followed that walking dude towards bear filled ruins. So turn this way. Go this way. Oh, some string. Thank you. Oh, I've got to go past these arseholes. Oh. No, I don't want to go up. We're going to stay low, my friends. Lower. Uh, wait, doesn't this lead me to my place? I can't even open my map whilst these guys are here. God, one sec. Very cool. Way to go. Ooh! They worked very well together, those two. Delayed sword followed by a star shower. Hey! I see free T4. Hey, thank you very much for the three months. This. So there's not... There's not a cave. I thought that red smudge was... Oh, it is a cave! Take it back. It is a cave, it is a cave. Yo, okay, this is what we want. <clears throat> you got Bloodhound Fang. I DM'd you. Oh, Ayatollah. But you're going for a weapon, Hellmarks, that's got a 1% chance of dropping. Good luck. Oh, Ayatollah. Oh, did you DM me on Twitter? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, yo. Okay. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the game. Uh, okay. Okay. So, I like everything that you've just sent me. Even though I hate clowns. Um, but also, that's <laughs> not the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's Sephiroth. Uh, thank you. I'm, I'm I'm, considering a Sephiroth statue. I, I still haven't got that Transformer that I want. It's only like about 50 quid on eBay, but... Okay, guys. Southland Tales continues. With any luck, this will be access to Glinty and not a quick way to die. Oh, not Glinty, a smithy. We're doing a little bit of a smithing stone side quest. 
Ooh. They look like trouble. Mate, you stink. You need a shower. A star shower. Here all day. Here all day. Oh, there's loads of them. That one's got wings. Which means we're going to kill them first. In case they fly up here. that reach? Oh, yeah! Uh! Okay, I'm glad that that magic locks on. Yeah, I like this game. Oh, I'm out of juice. Oh, wow, that uses up juice really quickly. Uh! Hmm. Let's have a look over here first. Mm, do I have to do a running jump over there? No, I have to go this way. Helps using discovery increasing gear. Mm. Any recommendations for good early game weapons? Uh, I'll tell you the one that everybody said to me, dude. I didn't do it because... I'm just trying not to play that kind of build. But everybody said to me, go to here, Forlorn Hound Evergoal. Yeah, it's this one. And if you go here and defeat this kind of knight that rolls around like an animal, um, you get uh, Bloodhound's Fang, which I think is what everyone's talking about in chat. Um, and it's got like really high physical um, stats. Oh, I now have enough strength. I didn't have enough strength to wield this earlier, but um, I upgraded it so I could use my Dragon Punch. Oh no, no, not now! No, no, no! Okay, I'm alive. One at a time. One at a time. Only one at a time. Oh. Oh. Oh, all right. Where is he? Oh, is, is he stunned? Yep, 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 yep. Fuck. Nope. These guys are tougher than I remember. Ah, okay. Okay, do you know what? We kind of uh, recuperated from that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's going very, very well. Mate, I'm so good at this game. Why am I here? Oh, yeah, smoothing stones. Let's put my lantern on. <clears throat> Zero scream stream, you know it. I see the matrix. <clears throat> Uchi EP Rapier. Uchi Katana. Sword EP. Rapier stabs are pretty good. You can use your shield. Hmm. You want a best gear build, not a meta slave guild. Well I'm doing a I'm doing a magic samurai. I don't know if that's positive or negative in your eyes. But it works for me. Big stab? We never did, does it? Oh. Nope. Hey, finally, a smithing stone. One. Okay, well, this is going very well. One is better than zero. Wait, can I blow these barrels up with long range fire magic? Should I be doing that with my time? Nice, thank you. 
Okay, before I go down that hole, let's have a look over here. I was talking to a chatter. Oh, Hellmark, sorry. <clears throat> look for glowing white and yellow rocks. You, my eyes are open to the great glow of victory. Victor, you and victor me. That goes up, but I want victory. Let's go down. We'll come back up in a minute. And that way, the only way is up, baby. Thank you for playing. Oh, is that a boss in there? Elden Ring. Up now, baby. How many schmeckles am I about to lose? 2,000. Yeah, I'll risk it. Go on him. I should infuse my blade. I don't know what's in here, but I should probably... Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Yeet, yeet. Welcome back. Yeah, after we did that hard Dark Souls action, I'm now ready. I've now played Dark Souls Sekiro and this. I feel like a big boy. Oh, I don't have any more magic. Mate. Magic glint blade. I didn't realise I could pull off so many magic glint blades in a row. <laughs> Sounds a bit dodgy, doesn't it? Magic glint blade is code for people in a club. I didn't realise I could pull off so many in a row, but it was really effective. For which I've received an anchor. All right. Good. Nothing else, though. Mate, I totally smashed that guy. Um, yeah, so, so far, I've played, um... I need to... Exclamation mark game, so I've got a thing that I need to update. But yeah, we've done Dark Souls 1, Sekiro. Uh, and we're playing this. So we'll... Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, and Bloodborne still to go. Uh, and Demon Souls, I guess, technically. Uh, but no rush. There's other games I want to play in the middle that are way quicker than this. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. You have to get into it. You really have to get into the mindset and the pace of one of these games. But uh, overall, yeah, it's lovely, especially to play on stream. I would not really be in love with this if I was playing on my own. But with a tiny bit of guidance and a bit of banter with you guys, it's really enjoyable. Makes all the difference. So, we've checked these holes. This is where I was next, right? Chameleon S, I don't know if you're still here on audio, but how are you and how's your day, by the way? The lovely Eva. And then I saw her face. Ba, 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 ba. I'm a believer. Wait, oh, it's a Bill. There we go. I'm a Bill, Eva. This guy's got the right idea. Got the right idea. Ba, 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 ba. And out of my mind. Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of HP. Okay, we're fine. I'm a believer. My mod's name is Eva. It's her time. Ooh, one of these boys. Troublesome Timmy, they are. Nice. Doing that whilst he was mid-air completely staggered him. I quite like this game. Ooh. Staunching bonuses. Mikey, you're a bay. Uh, right back at you. Solid Millie. Cheers. Nice, Smithy Stone. Yeah, how is your day, Eva? What's going on? Oh, there's quite a few vibes. I'm still kind of tanking my way through this, which isn't super smart. <clears throat> God, there's two of them. Sleepy, sleepy. Uh, 
uh, yo, we're getting everything that we want now. Like, these stones are building up. So then we'll go to the round table hold. Okay, remember, we can go further down and in as well as up here. I'm doing well. Are you fully recovered? Yeah, for the most part. Thank you very much. Uh, I still can't write to save my life. I'm actually really struggling to even watch Westworld to write the script. But uh, no, I'm ready to record the moment I've edited and cut down my writing. Dulcet tones back on film gram. Just don't hold your breath. It might take a while. I'm probably only going to do season one before season four comes out. Because uh, at this rate, I'm not going to be able to keep up with the others. Oh, hey, this is where I was. Okay, I'm going to come back here in a sec. The PC's dusty. Yo, 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 Astro. How you doing, man? Oh, come on in. <clears throat> Are you guys following twitch.tv forward slash chameleon s? Because if you want, there's something wrong with you. An explosive clump. Mmm. Hello? Ooh. Slightly creepy shack. O'Neill. Oh, I thought that would break his motion. Uh, I genuinely am slowly tanking my way through to zero HP. Ooh, let's play a cool trick. Exalted flesh. Oh, I just heard some noises. Oh, he's got different colored crystals. Does that make him a different threat? Oop. Kind of yes, technically. Uh, where's my bow? And my axe. Just keep that distance up. I don't. I didn't trust myself to have much success then. Okay. You. Do you know what I'm scared of? Do you know what? <laughs> Slimes. Slimes on the ceiling. That's what's really broken my heart. Dark Souls 1, there was a slime on a ceiling when I went to pick something up in a nice little alcove. And then I got over it and I healed and I moved on with my life. And then we were playing this and I was in like a jail cell and there was something interesting in an alcove. And another slime dropped down and I had like, had like horrible flashbacks. large glintstone straps. This uh, cave area is way larger than some of the other ones we've been in so far. I'm feeling it. So far. I did pick up everything in here, didn't I? Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. The blushing handholds of Jesus. Oh, Jem, what are you working on at the moment? Anything worth, uh, can we have a look? She won't. I want her to know that I want to see, but I also don't want to push her because she never wants to. Do, do, do. I've just made Jem sound like a recalcitrant stripper. It's fine. Yo, Dark Ray, Farrick, how you doing, man? Welcome on in. I hope life is treating you well. Okay, let's go up here. I believe in a thing called jump. Just listen to the rhythm of my bump. I'm so risky with this HP. And I don't have jump away distance on this dude. But it's all or nothing in life, right? Hey. 
And with that, my friends, I think we've just cleared out the entire area. So, having gotten some more smithing stones, <laughs> let's go to the round table hold. Oh, ye. Yeah. <clears throat> Shirogane and Kaguya. Which one are they again? Oh, wait, is that a, is that a Suwate? Where she makes the guy sit down because he's a dog. This is in stripper. Yo, Jem, what would the strip club be called? A strip club specifically for swamp hags and dangerous women who, like, you go in there and you're not really going to see Titty. You're probably just going to get horribly cursed. The, the hag and rag. I don't know. Something that involves stripping but also swamp haggery. The witch and pole. Hmm. The upright broom. I don't know. Why am I here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> oh, also, guys, let's go in here, because I've got that grace memory thing, and I think I can use it. I had my doubts, but my look at you. Only once before oh. have I seen two great runes together. Look there. The fingers shudder with exuberance. <laughs> I'd prefer it if they didn't. I had my doubt only. Fine work, brave tarnished. The greater will is pleased. You have earned the right to become Elden Lord. Now, <clears throat> seek the Erd Tree and an audience with Queen Marika to become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. The fingers expect as much from you as they do, young Gideon. Who's Gideon? Take this, a token of farewell. I have competition. A talisman pouch, hey. Now, Does that give me plus one talisman? Go forth. Slots. Become Elden Lord. When she's staring at the fingers, are the fingers speaking through her? Receive power from rem Remembrance. Receive the equipment of champions. Let's start with a Memi. Here we go. I can either receive from the Remembrance of the Full Moon Queen. A Carrion Regal Scepter. The magic Scepter of Renalia, Queen of the Full Moon. The Glintstone is known as Carrion Blue. Enhancing full moon sorceries. Only those of the highest intelligence may wield this. Channel magic into the glintstone to suspend it in midair. Oh, it does magic spin. Or, Benalia's full moon. Sorcery symbolic of the Carrion Queen. Uses a caster as a vessel to incarn incarnate a full moon and send it floating towards foes. Dispels all sorcery that touches it and reduces magic damage negation. Oh! Guys, I'm kind of into both of them. <clears throat> I reckon that scepter might be some really, really cool stats for my magic. But when we were fighting her as a boss, this full moon attack was really awesome. Yes, yes, and yes again, yes. The shag club. The shag hags! No, that's more of a brothel thing than a strip thing. A uh, random question. What game would you say is for strip club, club experience, but for gamers? The strip club experience for gamers. So what game has a really, really shit UK release, but is really, really good in America and in the rest of Europe? Mmm. A strip club experience. I'm going to have to mull that one over. That's a really, that's a really, I don't, I'm what, what other essences are there? Yeah, honestly, I, I, now, I, I've got nothing against adult workers and all that sort of stuff. Like, uh, um, I don't, I almost, I don't have a problem with escorts either. Personally, it's not for me because, um, I, I think I fall in love too easily. So I don't want to confuse that with a transaction. 
Um, so I still try to use my personality. Mixed bag. But I don't have a problem with people going to escorts or anything like that, as long as nobody's being, you know, uh, abused or doing anything against their will. So, by extension, I'm a massive fan of strip clubs. I love a lappy. Mate, I love a lappy, but not in England. Going to a strip club in England is one of the most depressing experiences you could possibly do. I would Don't do it. I wouldn't re recommend it to anyone. It's so horrible here. Ish. Over in America, it's loads of fun. Uh, guys, shall I get the scepter? Because I'm using a scepter as a weapon. Okay. What about equipment of champions? Oh, I can buy her outfit. That's quite a funky hat. Hmm, I might like that hat. Okay, we're going to come back here for the hat, maybe. Of the fingers guide you. <clears throat> Obviously, if your religion is tarot cards, you deserve to be. <laughs> is that James Bond? I feel like that's a James Bond conversation now. <laughs> uh, no, just, come on now. It's not. Oh, should I ask about Queen Marika? No, we'll come back to that later. Yo, so let's have a look at that equipment. I need initiative 60 in order to use that. Oh my god, I need an initiative 52 to use this one. Is that worth using? Ah, oh, we'll come back to it. Okay, long story short, we're doing really well. That wasn't the right room, though, because we're here. To upgrade my grey matter, because one day it's may matter. How are the old lovebirds? Well, I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. What's your answer? I still can't think of one either. I'm just, I'm trying to like, what is the, what is the strip club experience? Like, what, is, what does that mean to me personally? Um, a lot of fun when you're drunk, as long as you know you're going to lose your money. As long as every, as long as nobody's buying into the lie of the experience. Then everybody's having fun. Uh, so what game is really fun as long as you don't buy into it too much? And bear in mind that, you know, maybe she doesn't find me hilarious. Maybe she gets 20, what is it, like $20 for a, a three minute wiggle. Maybe she's pretending that I'm really funny. <laughs> Fine by me, mate. Fine by me. What game has that kind of energy? A game like that. Don't get into it too much, but like it. Do you know what? Maybe Horizon Zero Dawn. I didn't get into it too much. I only did the main quest. I didn't try doing any of the extras, you know. I didn't go upstairs for a side quest for an extra hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? I didn't do any of that. I just went in, had fun, Took it at face value and then left. Horizon Zero Dawn. And I still feel really positive about it. And I do intend to go back in the future. Yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn. <clears throat> Elden Ring, you keep losing your money and you feel worse after the fact. <laughs> you earn it again only to be screwed over and lose it again. Ayatollah, you have a very bad relationship with strip clubs. That is. That says more about you than it does about uh, anything else, man. Excuse me, can you upgrade my weapons or what? Okay, let's start off with the staff more than anything. Glint blade staff level two, yes please. This is the one I'm wielding, yeah. Nice. Let's increase my sorcery scaling. I still can't do my katana. I can upgrade my dragon punch, but I... Look, it's really cool, this dragon punch, but I'm not really insanely in love with it yet let's upgrade the shield a little what else hmm, i don't really fancy um spending money on anything else right now okay guys good work good work uh do i have any locked rooms that i can't access because i've got some more stone sword keys i'm not quite sure if i went everywhere 
feel like that's the main hallway where we fought the wizard ghost. I was answering on your behalf. You think I lose my money and forget to level, unlike you? Oh! Oh, look at little Mr. Working from home. You get quite confident when you're uh, sitting there at your keyboard, don't you? Is this episode almost over? Is that code, Gem? Is that code for shut up? Horizon Zero Dawn's a great answer because even here you're also told by others um, that God and science are okay with what you're doing. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. I've never felt religiously guilty in a lap club. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Hmm. Mikey, it could be Ghost Runner. He keeps trying hard, but he just can't get it up. <sighs> you know I'm seeing a doctor about that. You know I'm taking cream. I'm, I'm rubbing in <laughs> snake oil. I'm rubbing snake oil in it every day. Don't. Excuse me, did I just not use that key? Oh, here we go. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I was distracted by the outrageous slander in my chat. I'd get my mods to delete that, but the only problem is it's my mods who save this shit. I might not be a very good judge of character now that I think about it. I don't know why I gave you guys any form of power here. Let's leave. You know what, I'm done. You've spoiled it now. You, you've ruined... You've ruined the table of the round. I'm leaving. I also need a Wii, but I don't want to go now because you guys are going to put two and two together and make five. Are we doing time? I'll sit for it. No, 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 please continue. No, no, <laughs> we're out. It could be The Witcher 3 because you promise to keep going back, but you don't. Uh, hey, that's fair. That's fair because I, I, I've sworn to return to strip club. I haven't actually been to a strip club in like five, four or five years. So, uh, yeah, that, uh, that's fair. But I'm definitely going back. I'm definitely going back. What, um... Okay, I've upgraded my staff. We've done the thing. We did Rei Lucaria. So, guys, do I head up into Lyurnia some more? Should we have a look here? Or do I want to start cutting my teeth on the red wastes? A while ago, we went to the Rockview balcony. Let's do this. Now, don't don't worry. I haven't forgotten, guys. We're also still going to go into the Underverse. And we're going to light all the pillars. But um, I just feel like we need to do some leveling in the right order. To kind of make our way through to this. Um, there's a load of boyos who I want to get glinty, though. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to cut past them because there's some really nasty dogs that are really tough. So I'm going to leave all of these zombies on their relentless march. And instead, let's keep an eye out for one of these dogs and I'll use my new magic on them. I'll drop a couple of these guys on defense in case the dogs come up here to get me. Alright, let's try this. Out of range. That was good. <laughs> Pretty impressive, huh? Let's, should we try that again? Mm, it's not quite doing as much damage as I'd hoped. Let's do the uh, delay. Two hundred and forty three damage, that's okay. Uh yo, they kind of dodge around it, huh? Oh it just missed and then got me right in his attack. Oh, there's two of them. Do you know what I might I might actually back up a little bit here. I might be bitey instead of chewy. Okay, but now I've got this fun range of magic, they are a little bit more 
well, as long as they're distracted, they're a bit easier to deal with. Uh, excuse me, can you want stand still for a... Nice. What kind of EXP am I getting for that? Hey, it is my boy. Not loads. But some. Now, I already got a great sword from inside this carriage. Which is cute. The answer is mas masochism. It could be Zelda. The horse keep jumping off your bridge. Wait! <laughs> Wait! Either I know that's supposed to be some kind of sexy metaphor, but you make it sound like... You make it sound like any woman who sits in my lap for money is so emotionally damaged from that experience and loss of personal pride that they're more likely to commit suicide. <laughs> I don't like that. You make it sound like dancing in my lap is such an emotional hit. But like, you know, they go to bed wondering if tonight was the lowest night of their lives. But, uh, it's not really the feel-good kind of hit of the summer banter I was after. Eva, wow. Uh, yeah, let's use uh, lightning magic. Let's see how effective that is on these guys. Oh, lovely. Oh, really effective. That is the ticket. Yes, yes, yes. You've still got to do them one at a time, otherwise you get in trouble. But, uh, yo. Now, these crows look terrifying. I don't think these are going to be quite as easy to deal with. Uh... Oh, fucking hell, they're quick. I might have to go manual. Oh, they're quite tanky. Ah. Ah. No, I regret this. Oh, that was close. Uh, okay. Well, having done that means we've only got the dogs left. Where's the next one? Oh, it's this little gross destroyed area. So it feels like as far as this rot has kind of spread out and slowly infected into this land. So like all of these camps and stuff are the same that we had over here of all these other knights. But it looks like these ones didn't go so good because the area was just way more dangerous to try to exist in. Hmm. Oh, have I been in here yet? Oh no, this is where I was a minute ago. Oh, is this different? Oh no, no. I didn't mean it like that, but somehow that's also what I mean. Oh, mate. They only got up and walked away because they heard your quotes about context. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These birds suck. Yeah, they're kind of terrifying as well. <sighs> Yo, like, get wrecked. I'm so glad I've got this faith ability. Faith is... Oh, deep. Jesus, I've talked too soon. Like, Glinty is minty. But faith in this game is where the real magic is. Nice. I think I need to make my FP bar a bit bigger. Just so I can drop more. Ooh, two for one. This could be dangerous. Should we get risky? I'm going to just max my health. And I have my physic. Uh, excuse me, why did you suddenly turn around? Oh, 
Ah! So close. So close. No worries. We've got a few more minutes to uh, just run back and grab my elf, and uh, then we'll continue in. I was kind of like just trying to take on that little patch of area, but we can walk past it. I am really bursting now, but we've not got long left in this episode. Uh, okay, now where's my goods? I'll have those back, please. Oh, that didn't work. Ooh, there we go. Let's get out of here. I don't think they go past here. Um, this isn't massive uh, mass damage. But I just want to see what lightning does to a nobody. Hmm. Nothing insane, huh? Oh, they've all stopped. Yeah, these guys. Yeah, Glinty is amazing for these guys. But other than that, they just soak it up. Let me just pop over here and have a quick sit down. Eight thousand smeckles, halfway to another level. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> wow, Gabby, I don't know what that quote is. Uh, do you know what, guys? I'm bursting for a waz. Uh, this episode's going to be a little bit shorter, but let's call it right there, simply because we kind of know what we're about to do. We're going to just go further into here for a little bit. And then we're going to go back down into the underverse. And then we're going to go back up in here and kind of vibe around there. So it's exciting times ahead. But uh, I need a wee. So I'm just going to call this episode about 10 minutes early. But live with me on Twitch. Don't go anywhere because we're still playing. All right, guys. Click like. Click subscribe. Thank you very much for following along the VODs on the YouTubes. And I'll see you for another one real soon. Take care.